Jackie Cooper, noted retail automotive salesman on Chevrolet's seven-point selling system. There's more competition than ever before, foreign and domestic. Never before in the history of the auto industry have we had the competition we have today. Now, competition reveals the professional, but competition also reveals the non-professional. And the professional, he knows his product, the facts, the advantages, the benefits. Now, we have a seven-point selling procedure. We might say it's a seven-point selling system, but it's logical, it's organized, it makes an easy presentation. But it builds confidence, not only for the salesperson, but also for the consumer. It's a way that we can justify the investment of the consumer. The system is so flexible that you start where you desire, based on the information that you receive from the consumer. And it can be personalized to fit your own style. Point one, the marketing strategy. Our strategy, yours and mine. We qualify the prospect for what he wants to own. And you can ask key questions such as, Mr. Prospect, what's most important to you in your new Chevrolet? What are you primarily looking for? Now you see that question is valuable to the professional. It gives him information that he can use to start his seven point walk around presentation. Another question could be this one. Now, Mr. Prospect, is the new Chevrolet gonna be used for business, pleasure, or for family? Again, that question gives you and I the information we need to properly make the seven point walk around presentation. Another question could be, Mr. Prospect, Approximately how many miles per year would you anticipate enjoying your new Chevrolet? These questions are extremely valuable to the professional. They give us an opportunity to cover the points that is of interest to the consumer. Now we're very fortunate to have some of the best Chevrolet salespeople in America with us today. And they're going to share with you and I some of the ways they use the system with their prospects. The second point in the seven point system is styling. When a prospect comes into my showroom to look at the new celebrity, I think one of the first things they'll be interested in is the new styling sported by the 1986 celebrity. So I think it's important for us all to be aware of step two of Chevrolet's seven-point selling system, styling. Here's how I relate this celebrity styling story to my customers. First, we have a bold new grill, completely different from any celebrity in the past. Plus, we have new wraparound parking lamp indicators. Now these parking lamps wrap around so that they're more visible to nighttime drivers. As always, Celebrity has standard bumper rub strips and they're integrated into standard body side moldings. These not only unify the car as far as styling is concerned, but they also provide added protection in parking lots. Now Celebrity is a very aerodynamic vehicle as well. It has a low front end and a raked windshield. Celebrity is so slippery that it only requires 12 horsepower to cruise at 50 miles per hour. And that saves you gasoline. Aerodynamics is one thing. Appearance is also important. Celebrity has new standard wheel covers and new optional sport wheel covers. Plus, there are two new exterior colors to choose from, maroon metallic and yellow beige. So that's a total of 12 different exterior finishes. Plus, seven optional two-tone treatments as well. If you want to personalize your new celebrity even further, you can choose options such as this full padded celebrity classic vinyl roof, or this new optional deck lid luggage carrier. Even back here, celebrity has new up to the minute styling that I think you'll find important, including wider tail lamp lenses that wrap around like the ones in front for added visibility during nighttime driving. Now those are just a few of the styling features of the 1986 celebrity. And whatever approach you choose to point them out to your prospects, I think you'll agree that styling is an important part of the 1986 celebrity story. And I think you'll also agree that the 1986 celebrity is one of the most attractive ways for your customers to live today's Chevy. Point three is power team and chassis. One of the key features in selling the Z28 is power teams and chassis. And this is the way I do it. Under the hood, the Z28 is equipped with a 5.0 liter, four barrel V8 engine with 155 net horsepower, teamed with a five speed manual overdrive transmission. For maximum power, we offer a 5.0 liter tune port fuel injection with 215 net horsepower. Also available is a four speed automatic transmission with overdrive. 
Car and Driver rated Z28 best handling American built car for 1985. And this is why. The Z28 has special sports suspension, which includes modified McPherson struts, special springs, tune shocks, and front and rear stabilizer bars for very little sway in the turns. It has quick response, power, rack and pinion steering for easy maneuverability, power front disc, rear drum brakes for nice, smooth, easy stopping. Four-wheel disc brakes are also available. The Z28 has a high-performance rear axle ratio. It's equipped with 15-inch aluminum alloy wheels with the Eagle GT steel-belted radial tires, 16-inch aluminum wheels with the IROC package. And for maintenance, you can visibly check at a mere glance the windshield wiper washer fluid, power brake fluid, and antifreeze by looking through the clear containers. The oil dipstick, transmission stick, and oil fill cap are all clearly marked and easy to get at. The Z28 has a Delco Freedom battery, which is sealed, maintenance-free. You never have to add water. And that's the way I do it. Point four is room and comfort. The fourth point you'll cover is room and comfort. I find this an excellent opportunity to involve my prospect in the seven-point selling system. I allow the customer to sit inside while I demonstrate that the new Caprice Classic Brome is Chevrolet's ultimate expression of full-size luxury and first-class travel with stylish room for six passengers. Up front, a knit velour cloth 5545 bench seat in pillow design with fold-down center armrest and adjustable head restraints is standard for optimum comfort and elegance. Chevrolet proves once again that simplicity is style itself with Caprice's easy-to-read instrument panel in a new classic wood grain look and with new front door armrests housing controls for optional power windows and power door locks. Caprice Brome also features front door courtesy and warning lamps, a dome map reading lamp, and styled door panels with brome identification. Carpeted lower door scuff panels and plush 20 ounce full floor carpeting carry a rich finished look through to the spacious rear seat area where plenty of legroom sets the standard for full size touring comfort. Next, I walk my customer to the rear of the vehicle and open the trunk, pointing out cargo carrying capacity and design. The spare tire stows out of the way, providing full use of the wide, flat load floor. With up to 21 cubic feet of cargo space, Caprice offers the largest trunk in the Chevrolet line. I relate interior room and comfort and rear cargo capacity to my customer's driving habits, making the car their own. Point five is standard features. The standard features of the 1986 Cavalier Z24 are found on the price label and should be pointed out to your customers. In addition to the 2.8 liter multi-port fuel injection engine, power steering, and P215 Eagle GT tires, other standard features include sport suspension, 14-inch rally wheels, wide gray rocker panel extensions with color keyed Z24 emblems, electronic instrument cluster with conventional tachometer, and for that sporty touch, black left-hand remote and right-hand manual mirrors. While at the price label, be sure to point out to your customer the EPA estimated city and highway mileage. Point six is option selection. I like to point out to my customers the options that are listed on the price label. The Z24 has many options, which include the 14-inch aluminum wheels, removable sunroof, rear window defogger, and a six-way power seat, comfort tilt steering wheel, electronic speed control with resume speed, which allows you to increase or decrease your speed with a simple touch of a finger. Air conditioning for a comfort controlled environment. Power door locks and power windows. And for that real personal touch, your choice of GM Delco ETR AM FM stereo, which includes AM FM stereo cassette with seek and scan, digital clock, and graphic equalizer. 
I personally feel that if you review all these options with your customer, it should increase your sales. Point seven is quality. When I talk quality with my customers, I get excited. And I get particularly excited when we talk about the new 1986 Chevrolet Nova. The new Nova is the product of a joint venture between General Motors and Toyota, bringing you the best of both worlds. I start my presentation by pointing out the tremendous commitment to corrosion protection, like the extensive use of zinc-rich metals throughout the entire body, like the inner fender liners to prevent the salt and sludge from rusting the fenders. There is also a plastisol finish applied to the lower body panels to protect against stone chipping. Pay special attention to the rich, deep luster of the paint. This is due to a clear top coat available on metallic paints. I recommend you point out the one-piece headliner contributing to a quieter ride and a more luxurious interior. Open and close the door of this quality vehicle to prove how solid this automobile really is. The fit and finish is fantastic. I then mention the limited warranty along with the available General Motors protection plan stressing that 5,100 dealers from coast to coast will be able to service their new Nova. The finishing touch on your professional presentation would be to suggest a demonstration ride so that your prospects can get the feel of Nova's complete quality and see for themselves it is truly the best of both worlds. Now that we've seen how some of the top salespeople utilize the seven-point selling system, Let's look at the demonstration drive and the importance of the proper demonstration drive. That's really where as professional retail salespeople we build desire. The demonstration is where we actually expose the benefits to the consumer. Have a pre-planned route. Know exactly where you're going to go. Know the process during the demonstration that you're going to utilize. After you return off the demonstration drive and the sale is consummated, then we would go to the commitment to excellence program the pre-delivery inspection. No professional would deliver an automobile without checking the car, the pre-delivery inspection, and the orientation drive, where the consumer is made aware of all the different dials functioning the automobile, making certain as a professional it has a full tank of gas, and also going through, take the time, go through the owner benefit package. And then after the sale is made, we want to follow up. This is where we get referrals from the consumer and callbacks to us as professional salespeople. However, if that sale is not consummated, let's look at some very critical facts. Two out of 10 purchased the first time in the dealership. Six out of 10 purchased within six to eight weeks. So eight out of 10 buy within eight weeks. That's the importance of follow-up. In the process of the sale, nobody walks to the boss talks. If he does buy, it's follow-up. If he doesn't buy, it's follow-up. This is where it takes commitment as a professional salesperson. And when you make the commitment to excellence, you become more professional. And that is our key, professionalism in selling.